Welcome to... <laughs> oh, good way to start the show already. A little technical glitch. Welcome to What's Trending Today on CRN. I'm Jennifer Horn. All alone here in my little studio. High atop the CRN Broadcast Center. My buddy and pal Brian Whitman out today. But in his place, as usual, the trusty sidekick, M. Bizzle. That's about his DJ name. I like to make him hip and trendier, you know, more than he is. Matt Besant, everybody. <laughs> M. Bizzle. <laughs> M. Bizzle. That's your new name. I like it. You know, we call I call producer Tomas T. Money. You are M. Bizzle. I think it's <laughs> I like you. T. Money better. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you could be M. Money, but it doesn't make as much sense. That makes him think. sound like a Mayweather fan, though. Doesn't so I don't it? Know, I don't know if I don't know. Gosh, uh, uh. lots going on this week. We're going to talk about that. That's why I definitely need you here with me today, Matt, because we're going to talk about that Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather flight. Lots of news stories trending about that. It is going to be a jam-packed hour. We have so much entertainment news. I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you from the Muppets to Bruce Jenner to Full House. The list goes on and on and on, plus David Letterman and getting set to retire. So that has all been trending this week. And uh, some news on Bill Cosby as well. Oh, it's a big one. Plus, even though Brian is not here, you know, Brian Whitman is the fast food expert. And mm-hmm. there is a lot of food news going on. Maybe we'll even have to get him on the phone. I don't know. We'll see if we can do that. If not, you and I will plug through because there is a lot of McDonald's news going on. McDonald's has been trending because they're... Changing the way they do business. Chicken McNuggets and burgers and fries. Okay. Not anymore. They're bringing in like kale and home delivery and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we'll have all of that. Plus... Hard news going on this week as well. Stuff kind of still cooling down in Baltimore. Uh, we'll start there. Charges were brought against six police officers this week in the death of Freddie Gray and the mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, calling in the Department of Justice. Now Loretta Lynch... Brand new to the office, by the way. Welcome to your new job, Miss Lynch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've got some stuff to do. Hell of a way to start. It is. She'll be going into the city of Boston because, or into Baltimore, because uh, the mayor actually asked her to come in and investigate the entire police department. When a week ago, Matt, the mayor was very adamant about keeping the federal government out of Baltimore. Now she's changed her mind in the last week. I think maybe Al Sharpton got to her and said, hey, you need to build some trust with the public again. Bring in uh, bring in the DOJ to see what's going on with your police department. I mean, really, how long could that could have, that have lasted? Keep the government out of it. There's no way. Uh, well, the, this government, this administration, likes to get involved with these sorts of cases. If you remember back to Ferguson, Eric Holder, who was attorney general at the time, jumped the first plane to Ferguson to be there on the ground with those folks that were protesting. Because of, I, I think, the the turning over of positions, Eric Holder leaving office, Loretta Lynch, she hasn't been as vocal, but now she's being asked in. She's been invited in. The red carpet's out. So Stephanie Rawlings-Blake inviting her into the city of Baltimore to do that investigation. We'll continue to follow that story uh, on what's trending, because it will continue to trend, Matt. Oh, totally. <laughs> all right. Don't forget, you can check out all of our podcasts from our previous shows. You can get information from today's show, links to all of our guests and the stories of the show on our website, crntalk.com forward slash what's trending today. You can also go and visit me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Jennifer Horn Radio or on Twitter at Jennifer Horn. My co-host also on Twitter, Brian Whitman at Brian Whitman. And today, Waffles, you're up there, right? Waffles on the run? Yes. And follow M. Bizzle on Twitter at Waffles on the run. <laughs> it's what's trending today. A jam-packed hour coming up next. Get things done with power, comfort, and speed in a Kubota RTV utility vehicle. Now you can get financing as low as 0% APR for up to four years during our More Power to You sales event. Zero down, 0% APR financing for terms up to 48 months on select equipment now through June 30th, 2015. Not available for rental, national accounts, governmental customers, or with some customer instant rebate offers. Financing through Kubota Credit Corporation USA, subject to credit approval. Other exceptions may apply. For more information, call toll-free 1-888-465-8268. For more information or to find a participating dealer, visit Kubota.com. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1- 
800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. What's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio? I'm Jennifer Horn. Brian Whitman out on assignment today. Joining me on the mic, M. Bizzle. <laughs> he's the he's always our producer, and sometimes you hear him pop up every once in a while when he gets really passionate about something. But we're I'm bringing him in today because a lot of sports news trending. Oh my God, totally. And I need the help. Because Matt, you are—I mean, I've never seen you so excited. You're a pretty stoic guy, you know. You don't—you don't have a lot of ups and downs in life. You just are kind of like on the—I'm static. You're on the level, I'm right? Static, yeah, yeah. So I last week, actually, probably right after we got off the air here, you said, "Oh, I've got to go home and start preparations because it's Pacquiao Fla- Floyd Mayweather." Yes, Pacquiao and all the way. By the way, you, you still won. You built like a theater in your yard. I did to view to have your family lo- watch this fight, right? So yeah, so uh, we we went out and got a seventy inch TV, and I jerry rigged it to work outside with a uh, speaker system, and we had a bunch of uh, family members and friends come over, and we all watched the fight. That's so fun. Yeah, glorious high definition, hundred dollars for the pay per view, uh, lots of beer, lots of food. It was a good time. Well, good. Now, you watched the fight, and I know you were very disappointed because I received a few text messages. I saw a few tweets coming from you. And like most everybody else on social media, I think they said like 85% of social media was favoring Pacquiao to win that oh, fight. Of course. Because they set up Floyd Mayweather to be, you know, well, he, they didn't set him up. Floyd Mayweather set himself up by being a, you know, domestic violence guy. And, you know, he's not the nicest dude. He walks to the ring with Justin Bieber and the Burger King. I mean, that says it all. <laughs> the Burger King team was funny though. It was. I wonder how much they they paid to be there. Oh, it had. You mean it wasn't just like, he's friends with the Burger King? It had. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm they're totally sure he friends. Got paid. No, it had to be at least six figures. Easy. Oh, easy. easy. He made a lot of money off of this flight over two a fight over two hundred million dollars. Yeah. I believe was yeah. the total. So you watched it and tell me because I did not watch the fight. Were you? Do you agree with the decision that Mayweather won? Was it an upset? Yeah, I, I do agree. And you know, I wanted Pacquiao to win, but I had a feeling Mayweather was going to win anyway. Oh, that a nice phone. Uh, so no, I had a feeling Mayweather was going to win regardless because you know, just he he's the guy. You know, he's going to cut and run like he always does, which he did. Mm-hmm. And Manny's just going to go after him and. About midway through the the fight, Manny started going after him. You know, everyone started going nuts, and just nothing was happening. And it started to turn towards his his favor. And uh, the last few rounds, Mayweather cut and run again and just took it away. Okay, so that's the Shame. your your take is a lot what was going on on social media. Shame. Well, now a new story out this week it says that Stefan Vanell and Kimmy Rabarin have followed a lawsuit on behalf of themselves and the putative class, which means a class action lawsuit. That means a lot of people can get involved with this one, Matt. Oh, that, yeah. al- that alleges that Manny Pacquiao, his manager, his promoter, the top-ranked founder Bob Aaron, all committed consumer fraud <laughs> by not revealing to the Nevada State <laughs> Athletic Commission beforehand that Pacquiao had injured his right shoulder. And this was something that no one knew. After the fight, he came out and said, oh, yeah, by the way, I injured my shoulder three weeks ago, and I almost canceled this fight, but I decided to carry on. This is one of the dumbest things ever. And I, I th- you were talking about it, uh, the, what was it, the Monday after that. There may be a rematch. And I think I heard somewhere in an interview Pacquiao said he wanted to do a rematch. Okay, so Mayweather? Yeah, uh, here's my theory, because I admittedly do not watch boxing, but I love wrestling. I'm a WWE (laughs) girl through and through. I love it. I've loved it since I was a little girl. I'm going to just, you know what? Real women like wrestling. I'm just going to throw it out there. And because I think like Vince McMahon, Mm -hmm. I wasn't shocked to hear that Mayweather won because he was the heel. Everybody was booing him. Nobody likes Mayweather. Yet he has this amazing record. He is like 48 wins, 47 wins. I I wouldn't count him as wins. Well, it doesn't matter. He he's undefeated, he's so he fights. can break a record 
when he gets to 49 and 0. So I think what's going to happen is boxing is going to let Mayweather get to 49 and 0. Pacquiao is going to get his shoulder repaired. And then all of a sudden they're going to say, Oh, we got to have a rematch. The two of them will have a rematch. Pacquiao wins. They both retire. There is Done. no chance. The second match is going to make nearly as much money because but they do I think, it for the, no, the but publicity. With this, and, with this fight, it pretty much killed boxing because it was the, so boring. The outcry of the entire thing, how expensive it was, uh, how many people watched it, how many people were let down. Like you said, a lot of people were going for Manny. And Manny tried his best and Mayweather, like I said, cut and run. And that's going to be the entirety of the, the, the next fight. And nothing is going to change. So there, it's not going to be as popular. Maybe they could put a, a special stipulation where they have to tie their legs together. That would be <laughs> way Vince McMahon-esque. That way no one can run. They can just beat each other into a bloody pulp. Mayweather's going to be running around the ring. In a steel with cage. Manny, with him dragging Manny around. They could also make it a belt match. I mean, there's lots of things boxing could do yeah, to, no, <laughs> to make it exciting. There, there's not a chance. It's not going to be as popular. But this lawsuit, no joke. Now, it may get dismissed, but it's looking to exceed $300 million, maybe. 400 they're saying for fraud because Manny didn't disclose this injury beforehand and a lot of people went to Vegas I mean Vegas was overrun with people there to watch the fight to bet on the fight oh, yeah. lots of money was put down on Pacquiao and you know hey so is this fraud now I've heard that the commissioner of the league knew about Pacquiao's shoulder injury said hey punch for me he saw the punch was okay he saw it was good and he said oh yeah. you're cleared to fight yeah so, too bad you can't sue people for being stupid <laughs> well you know that, that would, would be, be nice a, a whole new How thing many people People, how many lawsuits will be passed down? This is one of the dumbest things ever. Well, you know, people sue for everything now. We oh, are, yeah. We are a society of uh, of sewers, that's for sure. All right, Tom Brady also in the news. Deflategate trending once again on Facebook he and Twitter. He knew. He knew. Hey, well, he might have, and that's the word. He was in front of a crowd, actually. Tom Brady was speaking at an event this week, and a fan of... Patriots fans, to be fair. So when he was asked to comment on the deflate gate scandal, he kind of laughed. He said, I don't have really any reaction. He said, our owner commented on it yesterday. It's only been 30 hours, so I haven't much time to digest it fully. But when I do, I'll be sure to let you know how I feel about it. And then, of course, it erupted into loud cheers. The reporter said, what, are you a slow reader? He said, well, academics, not always my thing. I know how to read X's and O's. Okay, so he makes a joke about it. But uh, a new report by the league says that uh, they, they probed into this deflate gate accusation and said that it was probable that Tom Brady knew that these balls were deflated. They don't have proof, but they say the probability is there. And so now the thought is that maybe Brady will be suspended for up to four games at the start of next season. Maybe they might take away a draft pick from the Patriots. So really big repercussions. My question is, you know, what what do you think about this? Is it right? Do we care? I mean, clearly... When they played Indianapolis, when this deflate gate took place, they would have beat Indianapolis with a ping pong ball. I mean, Indianapolis was not winning. It was a blowout. But at the same time, what kind of message does it send to kids if you say, hey, it's okay to, to cheat a little well, bit? Here's the thing. You know? I think it was Brady or one of the other famous quarterbacks that was on one of these late night shows, and they had um, uh feel a couple of balls, haha, <laughs> get it, uh, footballs, and they, they were uh, – inflated to a certain percentage and he nailed them every single time well this is you know 12 pounds this is 10 pounds this is five pounds you know whatever so there's no way tom brady didn't know the second he grabbed the ball whether he was hyped up on adrenaline or not the fact that some people want uh the entire game or the the super bowl to be taken the the trophy to be taken away from them is completely ridiculous suspend him for three games because he definitely knew and call it done done I definitely think a suspension for a game or two. I mean, four games in football is actually quite a bit. I'd say two game suspension, make an example out of them, and and there you go. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think he absolutely knew. He knows he knew. He on the stage, you can tell he knew. When he did all that denying stuff that he did and SNL spoofed it, he knew. Mm -hmm. You you know, this is your business. You know, it's like I can tell when a microphone and headphones are working. This is my business. He knows when a football is deflated to the proper weight. Up ahead, Bill Cosby's still in a whole heap of trouble. We have that news for you next. It's what's trending today on CRN. Kaanapalipi Chokta Mami Sawaii Motel
Located in the heart of Maui's premier resort, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kukui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT-monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at one 866 Six 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 nine eighty nine fifty four. That's one eight six 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 nine eighty nine fifty four. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a one hundred dollar Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now one eight six 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 nine eighty nine fifty four. That's one eight six 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 nine eighty nine fifty four. Thirty six month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control of your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problem now by calling the experts at U.S. Tax Shield and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, so call now. 800-351-8614. That's 800-351-8614. U.S. Tax Shield. 800-351-8614. go to Starbucks? Sometimes. All right. What do they sell at Starbucks? Uh, coffee-ish? Yeah, coffee, right? Ish. <laughs> I ask the hard questions. It is What's Trending Today on CRN. Jennifer Horn, Matt Bassant, in for Brian Whitman. Have you ever had their birth? What was it? Birthday cake pops? Whatever the cake pops? Uh, you know what? I had not until my birthday this uh, year, and the lovely uh, producer, Courtney Cadera, Got me a birthday cake pop, and those are good. Oh my god! Holy moly! Send me to heaven. Yeah, with except one they're of those. too small, don't you think? Don't you need like four or five Make mine grouped a together? <laughs> <laughs> I want a skewer of birthday cake. Pops. I stopped growing up. Now I'm growing out. There you Make go. Make it a double. <laughs> Make it a double. Keep them coming. <laughs> well, the story, you know, you would think Starbucks serves hot coffee. So these kind of stories always make me laugh. Like, you know, when the people get scalded at McDonald's when they order coffee. Well, yeah. Like, you know, you're ordering coffee, right? It's, and that's hot. It's one of these common sense things. Coffee's hot. Proceed with caution. Well, yeah. Now law enforcement getting involved with the the controversy over steaming hot coffee. A North Carolina cop who sued Starbucks for hot coffee-related injuries said he drove home to take photos of himself before he went to the emergency room. So this cop goes and gets his coffee, obviously scalds the bejesus out of himself, and instead of heading to the emergency room because it was so serious, oh, he's like, you know, I better stop at home, get out the old Polaroid. The wife took a few photos. Then he went to the emergency room. Right. This guy's name is Matthew Kaur. He testified that he froze in pain after the lid of his coffee cup came off as he was sitting 
sitting down inside Starbucks, spilling the hot liquid into his lap. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Mm. He told this to the news and observer of Raleigh, North Carolina. The coffee had been free, by the way, a perk for members of the police force. So he immediately returned to the police car, drove to the police garage, picked up his truck, then drove home. There, his wife took pictures of the burns on his inner thigh. He wasn't treated at urgent care for more than two hours. This was a point, br- oh, like, drove baby. home by the Starbucks attorney, Trisha Dare, saying that this condition wasn't all that urgent. He sued for Starbucks for at least $50,000, saying he suffered third-degree burns from a spill. So, let's talk about this for you a second. You know what happened to me the other day? What? I was drilling something into a wall, and the, the, the drill bit went right through my hand. So I went home, and I took a picture, and now I'm suing, suing a Dremel. Yeah. Oh, that's good. There you go. For the drill, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, for no for the injuries. <laughs> for the, injuries. the hospital visit. So, uh, where have we lost as a country? Where have we lost all of our good Listen, sense? Listen, you know, the, the the only thing that probably happened to him is, is he got first degree burns. If it, if it's hot enough to give you second degree burns, you can't even hold the cup. I'm not so, contesting. I mean, Here's the deal. I'm not contesting his injury. I'm sure that he hurt himself. I'm I'm sure of it. Well, I've yeah. spilled hot coffee on myself. Let's actually, you know, at CRN, we spend the big money here, and we have a fancy schmancy Keurig machine to I brew our that. coffee. If you're watching in our video chat oh, room right now, you can see me enjoying a cup. I love that. Well, thing. sometimes on days that I'm especially tired, I get extra greedy, and I want to brew the full <laughs> cup size. Yeah, you take all the water. I do. I suck down all the water <laughs> in the office, but I refill it quite a bit, too. I would say I'm the second refiller in the office just only to Courtney but I uh brew a nice hot cup of coffee and then I'll walk it back to my desk and of course I'm sloshing it as I go and you'll hear me go ah and like probably (laughs) release some sort of expletive because I've burnt my thumb because I've walked with a cup of coffee that was too full now Mm -hmm. I could sue Keurig hey I could sue our company but no, I think, hey, you dummy, you filled your cup too high. This is my problem. I filled it up too high, and I was the dummy trying to walk and do too many things at once, and I spilled. It's my problem if I burn myself. Common sense wins the day. I, and believe me, I know how frustrating it is. I've been through the drive through guys. I've been through the drive through and I've picked up the cup, and they don't have the lid on the right way, and you spill stuff all over yourself. I get it. But that's what my parents taught me was called an accident. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like some sort of thing where you actually get to call it a payday. And now, and this makes me even sadder that this guy is a police officer, because I guess I hold police officers to, like, this higher standard. And it just makes me sad that he thinks he's going to cash in from Starbucks for 50 grand. I mean, what do you want Starbucks to start doing? Order iced coffee, dude. He should get nothing but a slap in the back of the head and say, come on, think. I have a theory. This guy, Matthew Kaur, has been on the police force for 20 years. He's tired. Look, police officer morale at an all-time low. There's been a lot of police officer shaming in the news over the last year. Yeah. He's tired. He doesn't want to do it anymore. So he decided he was going to go and, you know, make a, a Cash killing out. at Starbucks. Cash out. His, psychi- his psychiatrist testified, by the way. He's got one of those. No. He said that he had difficulty controlling anxiety. He experienced depression had surgery related to Crohn's disease, and he was struggling to stop taking Xanax. So then maybe what happened is he had an anxiety attack, squeezed a cup, lid popped off, and poured it in his lap. Yeah, still Hmm, still what's called an accident. Yeah, still an accident. Up ahead, we have a segment jam-packed with celebrity news. It's been a big week for celebs, and a lot of TV news as well. It's What's Trending Today. Jennifer Horn and Matt Bassans on CRN Digital Talk Radio. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non Profit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's one 800 785 
I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-557-7921. 800-557-7921. That's 800-557-7921. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. Did you know that with a bachelor's degree, on average, you can make almost twice as much over a lifetime than a person with just a high school diploma? Yes! According to the U.S. Census Bureau, you can make almost twice as much. Going back to college is now easier than ever. There are select online colleges that provide laptops to their students. In fact, there are thousands of college programs on your laptop. You can go to college anywhere and everywhere right from a laptop. Call My College Laptop and you can find hundreds of programs from accredited colleges and universities nationwide. Start a new career in law enforcement, business, information technology, healthcare, and hundreds of others. Call My College Laptop to find an online college that will provide you with a laptop. In no time at all, you can double your earning potential. Double your earning potential. Call now. 1-800-582-7531. That's 800-582-7531. 800-582-7531. Geico is available 24-7. Unlike Billy, my boyfriend, who is apparently available 24-never. And with Geico's claim status update, after I report a claim, I receive update alerts through my Geico app. Did you hear that, Billy? Update. Alerts. I sure would like to be updated on why you can't return a text. Maybe I should just be dating Geico. Claim status updates. Just a few taps away on the Geico app. How do you like the South Point? Your entertainment destination, the show room at South Point, presents the number one unofficial tribute show for Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, the Big Bubba. It's the Winter Dance Party. I love it. May 8th through the 10th. Tickets available now at the box office. Online at SouthPointCasino.com or charged by phone. 702-797-8055. The Winter Dance Party at the South Point. Oh, baby, that's the one I like. I love it. what's trending today on TRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. Brian Whitman out on assignment today. He'll be back next week. Matt Besson's joining me. Hey, yo. And uh, a lot of entertainment news, Matt. You know, TV season is coming to an end. If you don't know how it works, a lot of TV shows wrap up in May. It's called May Sweeps. That's mm-hmm. when data is collected for ratings. And then a lot of announcements are made in May about what shows will continue, what shows will not. So we'll have a lot of that news for you. Kind of interesting. It shows you which shows you should commit to. I <laughs> like uh, Better Call back. Saul, Game of Thrones. <gasps> Ooh, what's the one that's coming out recently? Uh, Falling Skies. Oh, Final season, you. yes! You're ready to go. Mm, I'm ready. Uh, let's start with uh, a golden age TV star, Bill Cosby, in the news, trending away this uh, week. The gift that keeps on he giving. He does. You know, he disappears <laughs> for a month or so, and then he's right back in that trend box. The Florida woman is suing Bill Cosby for defamation. She said that she wants her reputation restored. <laughs> it's really tough. After she was branded a liar by his representatives when she came forward with the decades-old sexual assault allegation. Her name is Therese Sangarisi of Boca Raton, and she said her case, which had a brief hearing before a federal judge on Thursday, is not about financial compensation, but about clearing her good name. Something like this, you have to foresee it if you're going to bring allegations like this up against someone like Bill Cosby. As big They're as going is. to deny them. You have to think about that before you do it. You yeah. have to. you got to know that it's going to... And sadly, I mean, you know, in... 
when you're going up against a public figure, this kind of stuff is going to get out. The media is going to cover it and you're going to look a certain way, whether that's positive or negative. You take that risk. She said, quote, it hurts to be called things that I have been called. She's a 58 year old nurse and she continues on. I take pride in my word. I'm an honest person. I came forward with statements of truth. I expect Mr. Cosby to be an honest person as well. The lawsuit focuses on defamation allegations, not assault, because the uh, statute of limitations ran out on her assault allegations. So now she's going after him for denying it and calling her a liar. Right. But the general public doesn't know really who she is. She could say she's a good person. I'm a wizard. Did you know that? (laughs) I did. You know, know that, I am actually. a wizard. I do call you the wizard. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, you never really know. So, like I said, you have to foresee these things before you just start throwing these things out left and right. You know, whether he did it or not. Uh, the suit also includes two other women as plaintiffs. Tamara Green and Linda Traits said that they also have been slandered by Bill Cosby's representatives after accusing him of sexual misconduct. So that case continues on. Now, last week we talked about Full House trending. Remember that? Did you ever watch Full House? Yes. Are I, you kidding? I only watched like TGIF. a few episodes. Yeah, because you're too young. Well, I'm a baby. You are too young. Full House <laughs> was like my Friday night when I was in junior high. Uh, John Stamos, who was a star, he was Uncle Jesse on Full yeah. House, now making news. Apparently, there's like this resurgence of Full House stuff. Fuller House will air on Netflix, starring Candace Cameron and, um, oh, the girl that played uh, her sister, Stephanie. Big reunion. Big reunion. They're going to do a reunion first and then go into the Fuller House show. Now, John Stamos said that he's going going to co-star and executive produce uh, the Full House revival. He's also got a brand new show on Fox. It's called Grandfathered, and it stars John as a longtime bachelor whose life is upended when he discovers he not only has a son, but also a two-year-old granddaughter. Yeah, Hmm. there you go. So he's coming back to TV twice. Fuller House, number one on Netflix, and he's got a show on Fox called Grandfathered. Is that only for for one season, Fuller House? Uh, it's on Netflix, so they're doing 13 episodes, I believe, so you can binge watch it. Who ah. knows if they'll do more, probably depending on the, the response. Yeah. Now, David Letterman has been trending over the last couple of weeks. He is getting ready to wrap up his late show. Mm -hmm. It ends May 20th, which is just coming up. It's going to be huge. It is going to be huge, and it is the end of an era. You know, there are a lot of new hosts that have taken the stage. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers, James Corden. And they do fit. I mean, they do a good job. They fit. They're playing their role. Mm -hmm. But the classic late-night interview style that was made famous by Johnny Carson and then Jay Leno and, and David letterman it's gone it's so out it's all going to be about playing games like jimmy fallon does you know let's play charades we with are uh, enter- uma thurman we are an entertainment driven society now none of none of this serious interview stuff is flies anymore it's too bad because it was a, a really nope. david letterman jay leno johnny carson all part of a great era of television david letterman will end his late show on may 20th as i mentioned and jimmy kimmel did something that i thought was pretty classy yes, this is awesome he announced that he will be airing a repeat episode of his show the night that david letterman and signs off. So on May 20th, no competition from Jimmy Kimmel. I would hope that Jimmy Fallon follows suit. I would hope the people at NBC would let him do it. Conan, need, Conan needs to do the same thing. Like you said, Jimmy Fallon, everyone needs to do it. Yeah. He, uh, Jimmy Kimmel had this quote this week. He said, I have too much respect for Dave to do anything that would distract viewers from watching his final show. Plus, I'll probably be crying all day, which makes it hard to work. Jimmy Kimmel gets it because Jimmy Kimmel was a student. He kind of, I think you can tell he kind of geeks out still with this you know, these people that came before him, these are the forefathers of, of late night. And so I think it's really cool that he's showing that respect. I hope Lauren Michaels and Jimmy Fallon make the same decision at NBC. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Muppets. Do you like the Muppets? Uh, you missed again, them a little too. more before my time. I know a good, I know a handful of them. You know, Miss Piggy. you poor thing. Hey, don't call me did, that. Did, did <laughs> <laughs> it's just rude, Kermit. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> did you? Hello, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Uh, the ABC is bringing back the Muppets, so I'm hoping, Matt, that you will actually get a chance to enjoy the Muppets. You need to get the all the Muppet. The Muppets. You need to get the Muppet movies, and you need to watch the Rainbow Connection. I mean, really, this is like get a beer, watch the Muppets. You're going to love it. ABC announced on Thursday that it's added three comedies and six dramas to its fall lineup. Doctor Ken will be one of the shows. Ken Jong, you know him. He's yeah, uh, very I know famous. Dr. Ken. He's going to play Doctor Ken, a physician who's good at pathology but bad at bedside manner. <laughs> ABC also ordering what I'm most looking forward to, The Muppets. 
It's the Muppets for Grown Ups. It's a mockumentary that's going to take a look at the real lives at home and at work of Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the rest of the Muppet gang. That will it's probably going to last three episodes, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> Didn't Miss Piggy just get an award for, like, feminism or something like that? I, I think you know, I saw that in the news not too long She ago. rocked it. I, I idolized Miss Piggy because she was sparkly from head to toe, and she wore too much eye makeup. She was Tammy Faye Baker <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. Muppet world. Uh, of Kings and Prophets, also coming to TV this fall, Quantico. About the FBI's training ground, Wicked City, and uh, a Lawrence Fishburne project coming to ABC. So that's exciting. Lawrence Fishburne, where has he been? I know, I know, right? Oh my God. He's on Blackish, actually. Is he? On ABC, yeah. Uh-huh. The Muppets, still in the news, they're teaming up with several YouTube stars. So the big ones, Mike Tompkins, Lindsey Sterling, Elliot Morgan, John and Hank Green. The Muppets are appearing in skits and other online videos with these guys wow. on YouTube. They're filmed on location at YouTube Space in L.A., which is a brand new production facility operated by YouTube in West Los Angeles. And uh, it'll be fun. Oh, my God. That place is so cool. Yeah. You know, oh and, God, and the Muppets insane. make it even cooler, I think. Uh. Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, Beaker. They'll all be there. Miss Piggy, Kermit, all of them. It's great. That's the future YouTube stars right there. All of this will launch this month in May. So check it out on YouTube. More entertainment news and food news up ahead. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. What would an extra $250 a month mean to you? For some, it's a little financial breathing room. For others, it's a car payment, a home repair, or help with college tuition. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I've got some great news if you're looking to save money on your mortgage. All it takes is a simple phone call to Quicken Loans at 800-QUICKEN to see if you qualify for the government's Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP. Folks who refinance with HARP can save an average of $250 a month. That's $3,000 a year. Our home loan experts fully understand the HARP guidelines, and they'll walk you through our streamlined process. And for five years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction. And this year, for the first time, they've also ranked us highest in mortgage servicing. Call 800-QUICKEN or visit quickenloans.com. Visit JDPower.com for award information. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. And home lost number 3030. Yeah, rabbits are cute. Squirrels too. Till they ruin your garden. Feasting on your plants. Get yourself some ortho animal be gone. Animal be gone uses ingredients that little critters are naturally repelled by. But it won't hurt them. And the no stink formula works without smelling horrible. Animal be gone from ortho. We don't hurt them. We just chase them. Guaranteed. Learn more about how Animal Be Gone lives up to its name at ortho.com. Use only as directed. Need a great tractor to help with your chores? Get a Kubota BX Series subcompact tractor with financing as low as 0% APR for up to five years during our More Power to Use sales event. Zero down, 0% APR financing for terms up to 60 months on select equipment now through June 30th, 2015. Not available for rental, national accounts, governmental customers, or with some customer instant rebate offers. Financing through Kubota Credit Corporation USA, subject to credit approval. Other exceptions may apply. For more information, call toll-free 1-888-465-8268. For more information or to find a participating dealer, visit Kubota.com. What's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio? I'm Jennifer Horn, Brian Whitman out on assignment, Matt Bassant's joining me in studio. And you know what? We've made a date now, Matt. We're actually going to have, I, I told him, I said, you know, over the weekend, you need to get on this Muppet thing. You're going to like it. And then I thought, I need to rewatch these movies. We're going to have a party. We're going to have a Muppet party. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> Pajamas. <laughs> just show up naked. Oh, I said, we could do it in our pajamas. Everybody brings pajamas. He's like, I don't have any. So Matt comes in naked. All right, the Price is Right trending this week. Not normal, uh, not not a normal trend. You don't see the Price is Right trending all the time. Well, it's because they had a little embarrassing snafu, which happens from time to time. <laughs> this was hysterical, too. <laughs> it was. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Drew Carey welcomed Danielle Perez up to the stage. And she's a contestant who happens to have no feet. She's in a wheelchair. The uh, She's getting ready to play her game. She made it past, you know, that initial round. She gets up on the stage. The announcer makes his big unveiling of the prizes she was about to win. And it was a sauna and, and a treadmill. And a treadmill. 
Now, this girl reacted with, like, <laughs> excitement and shock, saying, oh, my God, these are really nice. Okay, yeah, right. First of all, a, tw- a treadmill, not a good prize for anybody because everybody can think, oh, God, why are they giving me a treadmill? <laughs> like, you know, really? No. Not a good prize. It, prize it helps that she's actually uh, somewhat of a comedian. She so she just comedian. laughed it off. Not one of these people to get to get insulted right off the bat. Yeah. So she's That's like, awesome. she's like, oh, these are really nice. She ended up winning the prizes. But people immediately took to Twitter and said that they felt so awkward they're, watching they're that mad, episode. They're mad for her. They were upset. <laughs> the treadmill retails at 2400 bucks, So she can go and she can keep it. She can give it away. I mean, it's an awesome dr- gift but twitter obviously gets it right saying that uh you know this was a little bit weird cbs told the huffington post in a statement that every member of the price is right studio audience has a chance to be selected to play prizes are determined in advance of the show and are not decided based on the contestants that's how you know it's not rigged and when you listen to the clip you can actually hear the announcer Going, just like oh no. peter out like oh no a <laughs> treadmill. a treadmill and a spa yeah he i guess uh, CBS says, look, you know, contestants have won trips to their hometown, which is not very fun. Men have won the look of the week, which is a prize package that includes a dress, high heels, and a purse. (laughs) Bruce Jenner may be interested. So, you know, but this Danielle Perez, now famous, she went on Jimmy Kimmel and had a good laugh about it. And and so she's actually probably got much more than the value of that $2,000 treadmill. Speaking of Bruce Jenner. She got a cruise, I think. Did she? Oh, yeah, no. I think she got a cruise from Jimmy. That was cool. That's awesome. The stepchildren of a woman killed in an automobile crash involving Bruce Jenner sued him this week for wrongful death, claiming that they have suffered enormous damages. If you remember this, it was back in February, actually my birthday weekend. Yeah. And Bruce Jenner was uh, in a lineup of cars on PCH, and there was a, a an accident. Someone hit Bruce Jenner from behind. Bruce Jenner hit this other guy, this other lady. This lady, Kim Howe, died at the scene. Very sad. Um, Bruce Jenner was not charged in the case for wrongdoing, but that doesn't mean a civil trial can't take place where they try to sue and get a lot of money out of I, Bruce, who probably, out of guilt, will will pay them some money, I would imagine. I thought that he was found not guilty of that. I didn't know that was still going on. Well, for criminal misdo- wrongdoing, ah. but you can still on the civil side. Oh, I Go suppose. Good news for the Simpsons fans. Two more years of the Simpsons coming back to TV. And bad news, if you like the MDA telethon, now I personally don't, but it was a thing. Jerry Lewis did the MDA telethon. Yeah. I went one year because our very own Ed McMahon, before he passed, was involved. That was kind of fun. Nice. Uh, but because the ALS did, ALS Association did so much fundraising with that ice bucket challenge, the MDA says, hey, we're spending a lot of money to do this weekend event, which maybe has passed its prime on Labor Day weekend. We're going to do something digital like ALS to try to raise more money. I think it passed its prime, what, 10 years ago? You think? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one that I know watches it. No, I mean, it's really. definitely, it's, 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 an, it's skewed for older and folks. And Jerry Lewis isn't even doing it anymore, is he? Uh, the la- Last year he wasn't. Yeah, so but I mean. I think that he might come, I, I, I think he was ill, which is why he wasn't a part yeah, of it. Without Jerry Lewis, he can't do it. And like I said, it's old hat. No one, no one I know watches it, which is a, a younger generation, so. Another yeah, legacy gone. Get rid gone of it. Gone like the wind. All right, let's talk about uh, McDonald's and pizza. Let's do a little food <gasps> news here. Ooh, food. This new delivery phenomena is supposed to be like, I, I mean, it's the new thing. Fast food delivery chains. Now, fast food delivery drivers will become even more closely watched next month when Pizza Hut rolls out delivery test, a delivery test at 75 locations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and it's dubbed Pizza Hut Nav. Most consumers will be able to track their delivery drivers and their pizzas on a map from the time of order until the driver shows up on their street. You mean what We're GPSing Domino's? GPSing pizza delivery guys. You mean what Domino's does now? Oh, Pizza Hut is trying to catch up with, yes. (laughs) It's about time. Domino's, which was ahead of the curve on its delivery mapping service for the fast food industry. So millennials wanting to see the convenience, the transparency, the instant information, that's what Pizza Hut's trying to do in Dallas-Fort Worth. If it works out, then guess what? It'll be rolled out across the board. Was it not Domino's that pioneered the whole, you order it and then you can watch us cook it? So, like, they had a live webcam into the specific Ew. store and you can watch them cook it. And they had what was called the the pizza tracker. And you can watch the progress, you know, progress and, you know, whatever. This is why millenni- for, millennials have way too much time on for, their hands. You know, but no, but for me, it'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's all I need to know. That's good enough. And if you're not, I'm going to call you. <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> exactly. Remember those? <laughs> yeah. 
Not going to send phone? you a text message. What is I'm this not going to use an app. I'm going to call you and say, where's my pizza? <laughs> where's my pizza? <laughs> Mama's hangry. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> Just get it there. McDonald's also looking at testing delivery at 88 McDonald's restaurants in Manhattan. So if you get a hankering for some for some chicken McNuggets and you're in Manhattan, Queens, or Brooklyn, call for delivery. Starbucks also doing the same thing in Seattle with Wor- delivery. Testing. Worst idea ever. Lazy people being lazier. There you go. Dictionary.com and more McDonald's news next. It's what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. CRN Travelers, relax at the beautiful Fountain Grove Inn and Conference Center in Santa Rosa, California. Come to quality and come to luxury. Experience the newly renovated guest rooms. They're generously sized and they're decorated in the Tuscan tradition. They have great, incredible pillow-top mattresses, luxurious linens, and down-fill comforters. The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi and Internet access. There's warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and you can visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar. It's the ideal place to relax and enjoy a glass of wine and watch our What's Cooking on Wine show on CRN with host Larry Van Alst on Wednesdays. It's the Fountain Grove Inn, Hotel, and Conference Center located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country. It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit FountainGroveIn.com. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in... You'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT-monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at one 1-8- 8 666-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now. 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. It's what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Jennifer Horn. Brian Whitman out today on assignment. Matt Bassan's joining me in the studio. And we're doing our food news. Now, Brian Whitman is a fast food expert. And I think he is going to be outraged about this, Matt, because McDonald's is trying to shake things up a little bit. You know, they are losing money. They're seeing their revenues fall. And so they say, how do we compete? How do we compete with Starbucks? How do we compete with places that might have healthier options? Oh, well, you mean like Subway? Subway or yeah. Chipotle is one. Well, the answer is kale. No. For McDonald's. <laughs> they are no. trying to see if they can develop a taste for consumers and their lust for kale. Uh, McDonald's has announced that it's testing two breakfast bowls in Southern California, of course. 
one of uh, which includes kale as mm-hmm. the main ingredient. Mm-hmm. So here's what you can get now. If you're in Southern California, and if it works here, it'll go elsewhere. They're doing breakfast bowls, which is turkey, sausage, egg whites, kale, spinach, and bruschetta. Go figure about that. That sounds like such a California meal. Good luck selling that. It actually Houston. sounds delicious. Oh I would God. be interested in that. Turkey, sausage, egg whites, spinach, kale. Yum. I'm in. The other option, here's where you might be losing me, and you're going to love it. Okay. It's a chorizo egg bowl. Okay. Which includes a hash brown. Okay. Cheddar. Go on. Jack. Go on. Pico de gallo. (gasps) Chorizo and egg. Mm, No. I'm not a big chorizo person, but the rest of it sounds pretty good. Maybe. Again, this is one of those things where, you know, I get they're trying to branch out and everything, but good luck selling this stuff. To kale. Uh, They're also trying to launch three salads in Canada that use kale as an ingredient. The uh, embrace of kale seems a little odd for McDonald's, but they recently ran an ad that celebrated the Big Mac, you know, and mocked trendy ingredients like kale, soy, quinoa, Greek yogurt. So they make fun of it on one hand. On the other hand, they're saying, hey, if it brings us some money, we got to bring it in. We need to ask the, the diet fat expert, Courtney. Uh, executive producer Courtney, if, if kale is still in, in season. Oh, kale is totally trendy. Is it? I and you will never find better kale than the ones that I make. It is seriously. You take coconut oil, a little okay. bit in the bottom of the pan, chopped up garlic, okay. chopped up red onion. Okay. Let that cook till the onion gets like translucent. Ooh. Then you dump in your kale Ooh. and you let it wilt. Ooh. And I'm telling you right now, Matt, it's delicious. Salt and pepper. You Brings them in. Pepper. Uh, I could, but I think you might have to come over. That might be on Muppet Movie Night. Because, <laughs> I I, you that. know, microwaved kale is not the same as fresh out of the pan delicious kale. So uh, we'll work on that. Maybe okay. we could bring in a Bunsen burner. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Finally, trending this week, Dictionary.com adds hundreds of words every year to its dictionary. And uh, a few interesting ones oh, were added please, this year please. and have been trending all week. They uh, <laughs> they added words that included dark web. Do you know what the dark web is? I do know what the dark web is. You do? Yes. Have you been there? Uh, uh, Jose has. I refuse to go. <sighs> You guys, I'm going to order a bunch of stuff I don't need. (laughs) Well, the dark web is defined as the portion of the Internet that is intentionally hidden from search engines. No, it's it's just not indexed. This is where all the underbelly lives and does their You can buy all kinds of illegal stuff on the dark web. Ah. The the main form of currency is Bitcoin. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear it. All right. (laughs) Revenge porn also added to (laughs) dictionary.com. This is the state of affairs for us now, people. That's, uh, you know, is the circulating of sexual images of an ex-lover. Other new words include astroturfing. You know what that is? <laughs> what is that That's one? creating fake grassroots political support. It's done a lot. Nancy Pelosi actually introduced the term of astroturfing. And then, <laughs> oh, yeah, the state of affairs by gender, which describes people with two gender identities. Yeah, that's becoming Just like a Amazon.com, by the way, this week eliminated the boy and girl search from their children's items. Oh, my God. Do you God. know how hard that is? If I need to find a pink dress, my friend is having a baby. I went on Amazon yesterday trying to find something to buy for her. Hello, I just want a pink <laughs> dress. Let me choose girl so I can get the pink stuff. Crying out loud. DC right. police. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I know. That's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget you can check out this podcast on our website, crntalk.com forward slash what's trending. For Brian Whitman, Matt Besson, I'm Jennifer Horn. Wishing you a great one, everybody. Which was most important because that was your theme. Are you tired of hearing your favorite talk radio show sound like this? What if you could hear your favorite show?